How can a person possibly be born a maniac? Not only psychologists, but also authors of many books and horror movies tried to find the answers to this question. In the end, everything comes down to the same old statements. An incomplete family, mental illness and deviation. But not all children growing up in dysfunctional families become serial killers. Not even all those who suffer from the worst events take guns and start killing. Only some horrible combination of circumstances, an unfortunate combination of many factors give birth to a maniac, a killer who won't stop just because he loves to kill. One of these people will be discussed today. Yang Xinhai, killer monster from China. From 2000 to 2003, Yang committed 67 proven murders and 23 abuses. This is the proven amount, the exact amount will never be found out due to Xinhai's death. He truly deserved the nickname Killer Monster. The crimes he committed were cruel and unjustifiable. On his record were killings of children, pregnant women and killings up to five people at once. Because of the last point, Xinhai can be called not only a serial, but a massive serial killer. The most powerful maniac developed his bloodthirstiness over time and became a menace to society. It all started fairly simply and prosaically. Yang was born in a Christian family on July 29, 1968. The family was one of the poorest in the whole village. The parents worked day and night, and since in addition to Yang, they had three more older children, he clearly lacked attention. At school, the boy didn't develop good relationships with peers. He thought that he wasn't needed by his parents. Therefore, Yang grew up to be a very close, thoughtful but smart boy. He was different, because he had high intellectual abilities and did well at school. Back then, his terrible future wasn't predictable. However, the extreme poverty, typical to Chinese peasants, still left him no other chance other than to continue the work of his parents. Not surprisingly, at the age of 17, Xinhai dropped out of school and traveled around China. At first, everything went well. The future maniac became a hired worker or simply a guest worker, and at least he could provide himself with bread on the table. He spent three years of his life traveling the country, but then he had to base himself in the province of Shanghai, and not by his own will. Yang was arrested and sentenced to labor camp for theft. The moment when Xinhai turned from an ordinary person to an official criminal is counted as the day the maniac has been conceived. As it is known, in China, from this date, the person's life receives a death countdown. However, in prison, he had to spend only a few more years. In 1991, he was again convicted of theft, and in 1996, he went to prison for trying to force a female into sexual intercourse. Xinhai served only three years out of the five intendants, but these three years became fatal. They changed something in Yang, and after leaving prison, the killer monster struck his first hit. However, not immediately. There is no exact information about what Yang did after prison, but it's certainly known that he had a girlfriend that broke up with him after she found out that he had a criminal record. Someone argued that this event influenced Xinhai to start killing. This probably isn't the main reason, but could serve as an additional factor after which Yang decided that he has nothing to lose and it was time for him to step up and start his atrocities. At first, he continued to engage in theft, but soon he wanted something more interesting. The first murder happened on September 19, 2000. Although it would be more accurate to say murders, since in his first bloody sortie, Yang claimed the life of two people at once. The crime was committed in Henan province, the maniac's favorite place, where at the end of his career he committed 49 killings, 17 abuses and 5 attacks. Xinhai's method was simple and terrible. He climbed into a house and killed everyone who was inside. Yang took people's lives with the help of hammers, axes and shovels. It is interesting, did the maniac choose tools simply because of their availability, or did Yang's spasm past somehow push him into using specifically these working tools? 
The murders were committed with particular cruelty and already lifeless women were sometimes used for sex. However, sometimes the survivors were even less lucky. One of these victims was a pregnant woman. Xin Hai killed her husband and daughter and then took advantage of her and inflicted severe injuries on her. Fortunately or not, but she survived. This happened in October 2002, a year later after his first killing, when Yang already killed 25 people, including the man and the girl that were just killed, and six abuses. The maniac didn't limit himself to only the province of Hanan. He committed his atrocities in three more provinces, moving between them on a bicycle. Another seemingly insignificant detail, but if we think about it, why a bicycle? Did Xinghai just not have enough money for a car, or did he specifically choose this transport to not show up at gas and service stations? Even if not, the maniac still was smart. For every crime, he wore new clothes, gloves, and shoes always a size bigger, in order to not leave trails. Xinhai's atrocities couldn't continue forever. However, they lasted until the end of 2003. On the 8th of August, the killer committed his last but the bloodiest sortie. That night, a whole family of five became Yang's victims. This happened in the Hebei province, where three months later, Yang Xinhai was arrested. It just so happened that the maniac was spending time at the nightclub where the police decided to check his documents. The law enforcement officers didn't immediately understand who was in their hands until only after the interrogations it turned out that they arrested Yang, who was put on the wanted list in four provinces. After the news was leaked to the mass media, Xinhai was nicknamed as the killer monster. Luckily, at that time, the monster was already behind bars. One of the reasons for such a long Xinhai's rampage was a change in the Chinese laws. In order to boost the economy, the Huku, the residence registration system, was cancelled. This was done so that the workers could freely move between cities and provinces, but also that helped people like Yang to wander and kill throughout the whole China and remain free. However, not everyone took advantage of the opportunity to kill everyone and everything. Yang has some other personal reasoning. The official position of the mass media and the experts was boring and unconvincing. Revenge and hatred toward the society, irrational greed, a pathological lack of pity, and so on. Yang's breakup with the girl was mentioned, however, some publications claimed that Xinhai just simply liked to kill. There was no reasoning behind these crimes. This man just liked to take the lives away of other people. The maniac himself answered all questions about his motives in a simple way. When I killed someone, I passionately wanted to kill more. This inspired me to kill more. The medical examination showed that he was sane. The doctors also discovered that Yang had contracted HIV from one of his victims. The lawsuits went on for two years, due to the fact that the prosecutors were sure that since he told about crimes that nobody was aware about, there are more that he's hiding and he has not told about yet. By the time of the last hearing, law enforcers accused the maniac of more than 200 crimes. On February 1st of 2004, Yang Xinghai was found guilty of 67 murders, 23 rape cases and 5 attacks. His sentence was the death penalty. 23 people managed to stay alive after meeting with the monster, but none of them could give a normal description of the criminal. Yang refused to appeal. By that moment, the media called him the most brutal killer in the history of China. He has this status till this day. On February 14, 2004, Yang Xinhai's story ended. He was put on his knees held at gunpoint and then by pulling the trigger, he was killed using only one single bullet. An interesting fact is that on the same day, but 10 years earlier, Andrei Chikatilo was shot. There is no doubt that Yang Xinhai is China's most effective serial killer since the founding of China's People's Republic in 1949. He was called the Mutant Dwarf, but really wasn't one. However, this undersized maniac who killed in four rural regions 
did everything so that those who caught a glimpse of him imagined that they had encountered a creature from the looking glass. Thus, Yang achieved an important goal. Bystanders could not describe to the perplexed detectives the real appearance of the criminal, but willingly endowed him with either giant hooves or blue three-toed paws or horns. During the interrogations, the maniac was asked several times about his motive for the murders. Yang answered, I don't care if they deserve to die or not, it's not my concern. I don't have a desire to be part of society. Society is not my concern. At the time of the execution, the maniac was 35 years old. Quite a lot of documentaries were shot about him, books were written and songs were composed, but none of them gained popularity. But this is just one of the maniacs that I would like to tell you about. You can share your suggestions in the comments section below.